Hello and welcome to this video, which is about integrating DxNetOps Spectrum into DX Operational Intelligence SaaS. My name is Michael Böhm. I'm Customer Success Architect at Broadcom. In this video, I want to explain the architecture of integrating Spectrum into DxOI SaaS and show the results in DxOI SaaS. Following providing an overview of the prerequisites and the related documentation, I will explain the installation and configuration of the Spectrum Data Publisher, as well as the configuration of the Topology Store. All steps will finally be shown in a live demonstration. When you want to integrate your local Spectrum environment into DxOI SaaS, you make use of the Spectrum Data Publisher. This component is gathering alarms, inventory, groups and metrics as well as topology information from Spectrum and ingesting it into DxOI SaaS. If you make use of a proxy to connect your server to the Internet, you can configure this as well. The result in DxOI SaaS is that you see the alarms in the Alarms Analytic Console, as well as all the information about CIs, groups and topology to be used when modeling services or in dashboards. I will show this during the live demonstration. In order to integrate Spectrum with DxOI SaaS, you have to run specific versions and patch levels of Spectrum. The minimum version for integration is Spectrum 10.3.2 plus patch 251. Please always consult the actual documentation, which you can find in techdocs.broadcom.com. The installation and configuration of the Spectrum Data Publisher is a multi-step process. The first step is to download the JAR file from the Spectrum Administration Portal and install it. The second step is to configure the Connector Config XML to provide the connection information from the Spectrum Data Publisher to the local Spectrum environment as well as to DxOI SaaS. Because the connection to DxOI SaaS is using HTTPS, you have to get the certificate from DxOI SaaS and import it into the Spectrum Data Publisher. This is the third step. The last step for this area is to start the Spectrum Data Publisher. During the initial start, you have to provide additional information, especially the credentials and passwords. In addition to the Spectrum Data Publisher, you also have to configure the Topology Store, which is done in the Spectrum Administration Portal. Let me show all these steps in a live demonstration. As mentioned in the presentation, please always consult the documentation in techdocs.broadcom.com for the newest information before you start any integration. You can find the information by going to techdocs.broadcom.com and then selecting DX Operational Intelligence SaaS. Then integration, integrate CA products, add DX NetOps Spectrum. Here you will find the prerequisites as well as all installation and integration steps. Let's now go through the installation and configuration of the Spectrum Data Publisher. On the Spectrum Administration Portal, select Analytics Configuration from the left-hand menu. On this page, you can find the download link for the DX NetOps Spectrum DXOI connector, which is also called the Spectrum Data Publisher. Click on this link to download the JAR file, save the file, and then start the installation. There are not many steps to perform the installation. Click Next to start the installation, and then provide the installation path. In my example, I am installing the Spectrum Data Publisher below the Spectrum directory to keep it in a subdirectory of the main product. 
click install and finally done. This already concludes the installation. The next step is to configure the connection information. This is done in the connector config XML in the config directory of the Spectrum Data Publisher. In this file, you have to provide the connection information to the local Spectrum one-click server in the top part, as well as to DXOI SAS. And if you make use of a proxy, the information about the proxy server. To make it easier for this video and avoid typing errors, I have prepared the contents of this file in advance and will now copy the information from that file and save it. The next step is to import the HTTPS certificate because we are using HTTPS. Possibly the easiest way for this is to open the user interface of DXOI SaaS and click on the lock next to the URL information. On the top left corner, you click on the lock, then on the arrow, more information, view certificate, details, and there you can export the file into your local environment, specifying a name and leaving all the default options. Close the open windows. And go to a command prompt to import the certificate. You can find the exact command in the online documentation. You have to specify the keystore password and finally confirm that you trust this certificate. With another keystore command, you can check if the certificate was imported properly. You have to specify the password again, and you can see my certificate was imported into the store. The final step is to start the Spectrum Data Publisher. This is done from the main Spectrum Data Publisher directory, making use of the run.bat or run.shell command. When I use the run command, you see the syntax. And when I specify run.start, on first startup, I have to create a password. This is used to protect this file for all further actions like starting, stopping, restarting the service. Specify the password twice. Now specify the Spectrum one-click credentials. And if you make use of a proxy, like I do in my environment, you have to specify the proxy credentials. Now the service is starting. 
And if you're using Windows, you can now see a new process. The Spectrum Data Publisher is running. To also get the topology information from Spectrum into DXOI SaaS, there's one additional step. Go back to the Spectrum Administration Portal and select Topology Store Configuration further down. Because topology information is stored in a different area of DXOI SaaS, you have to provide some more information how to connect like a different entry point, the Vera token, the proxy again. Make sure to select Enable before you save. Now all steps are completed and your Spectrum system is fully integrated into DXOI SaaS. Let me show you some of the results which you are seeing in DXOI SaaS. The first thing you can see are all the alarms coming from Spectrum. Let me filter on the Spectrum alarms. Here you can see all the alarms which were published from your local Spectrum system. You can also see the details as well as some further information because we imported topology as well. For example, how is this device with the alarm attached? located in my environment. Besides alarms, you can also make use of all the information from Spectrum when modeling services. Let me show you when I go into creating a new service and selecting the network area. You can see the global collections which were imported from Spectrum, for example, let me have a look at all my Windows servers. You can get a preview. So adding this to a service, it would add all these objects. How to model services will be shown in a separate video. You can also make use of your global landscape. You see, I see the entire universe here or some sub areas. You can also make use of individual devices. The final step I want to show you is showing you one of the included dashboards related to Spectrum. In this dashboard, you get a good overview of all the information which the system brings in, in one dashboard, like the open alarms, top devices by alarm, top global collections by alarm, and so on. This is one of the dashboards included in the system. This concludes my presentation and also the video about how to integrate DX NetOps Spectrum into DX OI SaaS. Thank you for watching.